Well, to be honest with you, when I signed off on the last video, which was our Game 4 preview, I thought we were saying farewell until next season. But the Cavs made sure that wasn't the case with an impressive 137-116 win in Game 4, preventing the Golden State Warriors from being the only team in NBA history to make it through an entire postseason undefeated. So now we go to Game 5. 3-1 Warriors. The series now moves back to Golden State for Game 5. Golden State a 9-point favorite at BetSafe. 230.5 the total here. Now look, I know no team in NBA history has ever come back from a 3-0 deficit in the finals. Actually, it's never happened in the playoffs. But for, these, for our purposes here, we'll talk about the finals. But no team had ever come back from a 3-1 deficit until last year when, of course, the Cavs erased just that deficit against these Warriors. I'll tell you, Golden State fans, they might still be feeling pretty good about things, as they probably should. But if Cleveland somehow finds a way to go into Oracle Arena and win this Game 5, it is going to get really interesting because then the Cavs would most likely be favored back in Cleveland for Game 6. But as we said, the Warriors a 9-point favorite here, and in Games 1 and 2, they easily beat the Cavs. Look, they were just too much. We've talked about it throughout this series. The Warriors do what they do offensively. I mean, no team has been able to stop or slow them down, really, for the past three-plus years, but especially during this postseason. They've averaged over 118 points per game, and they were at it again in Game 4. They scored 116. I mean, with two minutes left in the first half, i would never seen a game like it. With, I believe, just less than two minutes left in the first half, the Warriors had 61 points. 61 points with still a couple of minutes uh, left to go in the first half, and they were down by more than 20. I looked at a friend who I was watching the game with. I said, I mean, they've got 61 points. We're not to halftime yet, and they're behind by more than 20. Cleveland, with an NBA record 86 points in the first half of Game 4. It was just unbelievable. The Cavs were making them from everywhere. They shot 52.9% from the game, 53.3% from three-point range, 24 for 45 Kyrie Irving with 40 points, LeBron James with 31, and another triple-double. Look, that was Cleveland playing as well as they could play, showing their championship DNA. Can they do it again? Because Golden State, as we said, they've been bringing it every game this series, and they brought it again in game four, another 116 points, 35 points from Kevin Durant. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson both struggled. They combined for just 27 points. So we know the Warriors do have another gear, but we've seen the gear that they've been in here for these past four games, and it's usually good enough. Cleveland is probably not going to score 137 points again. They're probably not going to shoot 53% from three-point range again. And I'm sure Steve Kerr is talking with the Warriors about that. Keep in mind, the Warriors, as good as they've been offensively this season, they were a pretty good defensive team as well. As a matter of fact, statistically, they led the NBA in opponents' field goal percentage allowed not only in the regular season, but in the postseason as well. So they might not be a great shot-blocking team, but the Warriors can really guard the perimeter. And a lot of Cleveland's offensive struggles through the first two games of this series, you know, we pinned a lot of it on Cleveland, and we said, well, the, the Cavs just need to start matching the Warriors' firepower with firepower of their own that they demonstrated throughout the Eastern Conference playoffs. A lot of it had to do with the Warriors' perimeter defense, to be sure, especially in that game one when they limited the Cavs to just 91 points, 15 points below what was previously their lowest output in this postseason. So game five here again, the Warriors, a nine-point favorite. Do want to remind folks that now 22 of the, 20, of the past 23 games these teams have played, the point spread has not mattered, meaning the favorite team is either won by more points than they were favored by or the underdog has won outright. So if you're thinking about taking Cleveland here just because the nine points looks attractive, I would advise against that because, again, when these teams have met for the last 23 times, usually whoever wins the game ends up covering the spread, usually meaning almost always. Look, I've struggled here in this series picking sides. Fortunately, we've been 3-1 and one on the totals, but just 1-3 and three picking the sides. But it's tough for me to go away from the Golden State Warriors here, returning home to Oracle Arena, knowing what they have at stake. I mean, Golden State, they heard this 3-1 business throughout the offseason. It became sort of a, a meme of its own, 3-1, uh, signifying Golden State's blown 3-1 lead. And as we said, if the, if the Cavs can manage to win this game five, it is really going to get interesting. Golden State really going to start getting tied under the collar there. I don't think they want that to happen, and I think they have the firepower to ensure that does not happen. I think we'll see a recommitment to the defensive end here in game five from this Warriors team who, as we mentioned, was very good guarding the perimeter uh, all season. And I think they're going to do what they do offensively. And 
Cleveland had a losing record on the road throughout the regular season. They're a different team on the road uh, than they are at home at Quicken Loans Arena. So again, I find it difficult to go, go, to go away from Golden State in this spot. I do like the Warriors, minus nine at home. And I'm also going to go under 230.5. Mentioned we've been having some success playing totals here in these finals. Obviously, the last game, 137 to 116, uh, has now pushed the total up to higher than it's been throughout the, throughout the series. 230.5 is a big total, and I'm going to say the value is under there. So Golden State minus 9, under 230.5, my recommendation. I wish you best luck no matter what you decide to do in this Game 5, just so long as your interests don't conflict with my interests. Well, enjoy the offseason, folks, or we might see you for Game 6.